there was a lot of pressure with the uh, writing of the album. I guess we had to unlearn everything that we learnt from the first album. Like when we went into the album the first time, um, we just put all our songs together like No By Mouth was five minutes long and we had two bridges, three choruses and so on. And then once the producer had put his input into it to make it that radio version, that was kind of lodged in our minds. So when we were writing material for the next album, we kind of had that. And so unlearning all that was pretty difficult. Well, the DJ and the old bassist left just, uh, they wanted to pursue their own different musical careers. Um, we'd always wanted a uh, heavy guitar sound, rock sound. So um, we got Brandon here and Dave, the new bassist. And um, that's just gelled really well. Um, I don't know if we really consider us, ourselves a new metal band in the first place. Like Faith No More and um, Red Hot Chili Peppers had samples, you know, when we were making our stuff, 311. They never seemed to get classed as new metal, but um, definitely with this album, there's no chance of that happening now. Eh? Mm. It's a lot heavier. It wasn't intentionally heavier. The music that we wrote was just what we heard in our heads and stuff and then we just you know all came together with all our ideas and and what you hear on the album was is was not you know wasn't contrived wasn't forced it was just a natural progression we were like researching um, producers so we got uh, Pelle Henriksson and Eskil Lovstrom uh, from Sweden who have done Cult of Luna The Refused Poison the um, Well yeah Poison the Well and just the way that they compile their albums, they kind of make it a journey and a whole full story in the album. And um, after hearing the stuff that they've done, we just thought, oh, yeah, these are the guys. I guess it's different because the lyrics speak something different to what the music says. When we wrote the music as a band without Damien, it was just, we wrote music that we wanted to hear and, you know, from our hearts. And then Damon would come over and write some lyrics, which meant something to him. So it's, you, you can't, yeah, you have to you get different opinions from each of us because the writing process was not all together. Uh, any press is good press, really. Um, nah, we were kind of stoked. Like, I guess you're talking about shouting there. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, nailed it. Awesome. They're quite fanatical, eh? You know, when they come up to you and stuff. This is in Japan. Um, you know, you'd like hold them and they'll be like shaking <laughs> and stuff. And, yeah. and they're just really into you and into the music and just adore you. It's pretty crazy. It's a pretty proud feeling, really. Yeah. Just having them jump over you and fire out. This is what our music's done. So hmm. it's pretty cool. Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm Brandon. We're in Blindspot. Blind this is the new album, In the Science, in stores now. You're watching Juice TV.